In this tutorial, we will be working with menus to give you a better understanding of building your site navigation. We will start with the main menu. The top navigation bar on a site is the main menu. In the shortcuts toolbar, click the main menu link. Use the main menu admin page to create the structure of your site and build out your pages. The main menu provides a site map of all the pages in your navigation structure where you can see at a glance which pages live where and easily add new ones. To add a new page, let's enter the menu text, page 4, in the new menu item field. Use the drop down under the target column to select the page content type. You have several options. We will create a new basic page. Click Save Configuration when you're done. We are now on our new basic page where we can add and format our content. We will click Save when we're done. We are taken back to the main menu admin page to add more content if we need, but let's click back to site to review our site navigation. I would like to change the order of my pages and move the FAQ page to the far right of the main menu. I will click the main menu link in the shortcuts toolbar to go back to the main menu admin page. In Web Express, wherever you see crosshairs, it means that you can drag an item to rearrange it. So I will drag the FAQ page to the end of the menu items. I may also create child pages or subnavigation by dragging and nesting a page under a parent item. We will move page 4 and nest it under page 3 by dragging it to the right. Always click Save Configuration when you are finished making changes. Let's go back to our site to review our work. The FAQ page is in the proper location and page 3 now has a new menu block on the page with our sub-navigation. There are two other default menus on a Web Express site, a footer menu and a secondary menu. In the Express toolbar, click on Structure and Menus. We see our main menu admin page here along with the footer menu and secondary menu. To create menu items in each one of these menus, you can click on Edit and then just like in the main menu, add your new menu item and select your target content type. I will create a new menu item for our secondary menu. It will be entitled Contact Us. We'll use a basic page and in the menu settings you'll see that the parent item is the secondary menu. Now click Save. Let's click back to site and review our secondary menu item. The secondary menu can be configured to display above the main menu which is the default or it can be configured to display in line. To display a secondary menu in line, we click on Design and we edit or configure the theme. We will scroll down to the secondary menu options and expand this link. And you can check Place Secondary Menu in line with Main Menu and, if appropriate, select a color. Save the configurations and click Back to Site. Now our secondary menu item is in line with the main menu. This configuration often gives the secondary menu the look of adding a button to the main menu. Let's click on Structure again and Menus. And the footer menu looks exactly the same and you can add a custom footer menu items here. Let's look at the menu settings now. Click on the Settings tab. It is very important to select the correct source for your menu links. So the source for the main menu links should be the main menu, as well as the secondary menu links should refer to the secondary menu. You may also add a secondary menu label when your secondary menu is not in line with the main menu. When you have made all the settings changes that you need, you would click Save Configuration. Creating compelling site navigation is important to user experience. Review our full list of tutorials about site navigation and configuring menus on the Web Express support site.